Hey everybody, what's up? Carl Schuff here from Snorkel.tv, and in today's episode of Animate CC Beginner Pitfalls, we're going to answer the question, what happened to that vector shape I just drew? All right, in Animate CC, there are a number of times where you may take something like your paintbrush and try to draw something, and it just instantly disappears. Well, what's going on? Well, the deal here is that I have a bitmap image on the stage here. If I click on it, you'll see its properties tell me it is a bitmap. And if I take my paintbrush out and try to draw over that bitmap in the same layer, I only have one layer in my document here, it appears that these shapes magically disappear. There's something wrong with the program. I want to uninstall it, throw my laptop out the window, but Let's not do that right now because I want to show you that I can take this image and slide it over and look, those are all the shapes that I originally drew, okay? And at the end of the day, the reason for this is just that these vectors are always going to live behind a bitmap, okay? So again, if I draw this vector shape here across the bitmap, you'll see I drew it, it just gets hidden behind the bitmap, all right? So the solution is really quite simple. You would just create a new layer on top of your bitmap and then we can draw on top of it, okay? So that's probably the most common scenario where your vector artwork disappears. Let's get rid of everything here. And another common scenario is that for your brush, you may have the wrong brush mode selected. So if I have something like paint normal, you know, things are gonna work just fine. Let me just delete that. But if your brush mode somehow got switched over to something like paint selection, you may go to draw and oh, when you release, everything you draw disappears. And again, a beginner's gonna wanna smash their face into their monitor and never touch animate again. So it's important to make sure that you have paint normal selected and then you're good. Now this may beg the question, well Carl, what does paint selection mean? Well, let's do something real quick. I'm just gonna draw a shape on the stage. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool to fill it in. So now I have this vector circle, if you will, okay? So I'm gonna change my color over to, we'll say this orangey yellow color. And now I'm gonna select my paintbrush. Actually, first what I'm gonna do is select that shape and then I'm going to select my paintbrush. I'm gonna have paint selection selected and then what happens is I can draw a line through that selection and only the selected part got painted. So now I've created a striped ball if you will. All right, and so only the selected parts got colored. So it's important to note if you had paint selection as your brush mode and nothing was selected, there'd be nothing to paint and your artwork would disappear. So it's an awesome feature. I'm not gonna go into all the different fill modes right now or brush modes, but those are the two most common scenarios where you're going to be drawing something, it disappears, and you go crazy. So hopefully this video prevents you from going crazy and you can now continue to use and learn more about Animate CC. Have a great day. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell, ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day.